totally get this amazing secret armor set in God of War Ragnarok that I think the developers might nerf because there are some insane things going on that sometimes feel like you triggered a god mode. Like look at the amount of healing that I'm getting. It's really insane. So I will tell you how to get it without any story spoilers of course and also go in depth on some other items that will give you a ton of health back. Of course if you are enjoying God of War Ragnarok and like the content here on the channel then leave a like that would really help me out and let's go. Maybe you already watched our previous video on the Deluxe Edition armor or maybe you have it yourself. Like that is the gold variant of this Steinbjorn set. Difference is that the Steinbjorn set is one that everyone can get in the game. They also have completely different perks for different playstyles. The Deluxe Edition armor set is also really really good. So I will leave a link to that pre-order and Deluxe Edition item video in the video description for if you want to watch it later. And while the gold totally looks a bit better, I still think the Steinbjorn armor is pretty solid too. So you get this in Midgard, but not the first time you go here. I of course don't want to spoil anything, but at one point in the game you know how to destroy these obstacles that you've likely already seen before. So when you do, return to this point on the map in Midgard to break it and this will allow you to find an heirloom relic that might not be that interesting at first. Although maybe you already noticed these pretty scary looking troll statues in some of the realms. One is actually close by in Midgard so then you want to go over here on the map. So travel there, use the chains to get higher up and then you will come across a blacksmith. Eventually you will get there. Then use the relic and the boss fight will start. And actually don't touch the wisps yet before the fight because if the troll is alive you can use them to deal a ton of damage to make the encounter way easier. I overall used my Lunda poison build that I discussed in a previous video. I will link to that one at the end of this one. Like even at level 5 this troll was no problem. And taking one of these out already gives you one slumber stone and if you then return to the blacksmith you can already see the full Set, and then you see that you need four of these to craft every piece. You find the second troll in the second area of Alfheim over here on the map which you should be able to access already if you've done some optional content here. It also went down pretty fast with the Lunda armor combo and then the final two trolls are actually next to each other in Vanaheim which is over here on the map. Maybe you already noticed these because they were like sort of guarding one of the Lunda armor pieces. So yeah, prepare yourself to fight two at the same time and pro tip is that you can switch out the heirloom relic to a different one which you can then still use in combat. This totally helped me out quite a lot. And if you then are successful, I again use poison to lower their level, made them an easier target. Well, they got enough stones to make the full set. Although only one piece is needed if you want to trick that god mode sometimes. Let's go over that. Of course, if you like the video so far, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for way more God of War Ragnarok content like this. So this insane health recovery that, again, I'm not sure is intended, comes into play thanks to the amazing chest perk that basically, after taking damage, gives you a 5 second window where every attack you do gives you health back. And while the chest piece says after significant damage taken, it really triggers pretty often often even after smaller enemy hits. Another nice thing is that it resets after you get hit during the 5 second window so then it will just count down from 5 again which is not the case with a lot of other perks. So you can totally rock it in combination with the other Steinbjorn items which on taking damage gives you a chance to push enemies away and inflict some stun. Like it's not bad as it also triggers on taking damage just like the chest perk and does stop enemies during their attack so you can and more easily escape tricky situations. But the 50 stun from wearing both pieces is not that much and there is simply a better combination you can rock. Maybe you already see this coming if you have been playing around with the Raven Tear set, but yeah the waist and the gloves from this armor give you 30% extra healing on health stones, rage and gear which is insanely strong in combination with the Steinbjorn perk. And if you are not familiar I mentioned this in a previous video as well but you get these raven tear pieces from the first two chests in front of the raven tree in Nivelheim. And why this Steinbjorn chest piece feels kind of broken is because it also works with runic attacks which is very unique and you will see why in a second. So after getting hit and triggering that perk I use my favorite heavy runic attack from the axe the mist of Helheim. This will immediately 
repeatedly deal damage and then as long as it can build up the frost status on enemies it will also give me health back. And if you have the level 3 version of this runic attack like me then the duration and the size of the hazard is increased and if you then get hit while the effect is active which again is for a long time you will immediately see the health come in as long as enemies are standing in that sort of frost circle from the runic attack. It's really insane. And a traveler does not build up the frost effect it seems. So you just immediately get a ton of health back as long as the perk from the chest is active. Otherwise get hit again and then bam I recover way more health than I lost. The Wrath of the Frost Ancient also works pretty well to get some health back. Also upgrade that of course to level 3 to make it last longer. And Blade Runic Attacks were still effective although a bit less. I found that Cyclone of Chaos would easily give some nice health back and Atlas Eruption was pretty great too. But there are way more ways to make this build insane as the Bloodthirst Retaliation perk from the Steinbjörn chest also in Enhances health gains for way more things. First, real quick, I discussed how to get the Mist of Helheim in that previous video that I will link to at the end of this one. And if you want to know where to find the other runic attacks I mentioned, I will leave links to guides in the video description. Okay, going back to the Steinbjörn chest, because you of course already get health back with the Fury Rage, but in combination with the chest, you get even more. And if the perk is not active anymore, just get hit during the rage state and then continue your rampage to get a ton of health back in no time. You will not get extra healing from the Valor Rage in combination with the Steinbjörn chest, but you might know about the Boon of Valor amulet, which you get from killing the side boss that you encounter during your second main quest in Vanaheim, which is pretty late into the game. I also used the Luna build for this one, and with this amulet equipped, you heal less from the Valor Rage activation but you do get a 9.5 second strength and lifesteal buff instead which also works together with the perk from the Steinbjörn chest. But the big difference is that it only gives you health back on basic hits and not on runic attacks so smart to use the blades in this case to quickly slash away and maybe even hit multiple targets. And the same is the case for the brand new enchantment called Stone Idol of Souls which you get from the troll in Alfheim so you already have it after crafting the Steinbjörn set. And with this amulet equipped, health stones and rage stones give you soul steal for 6.5 seconds, which will also help you get health and even rage back when striking enemies. This again doesn't work on runic attacks, but it can still make for an amazing combo because you can have all these perks active at the same time and then go ham with your blades. But yeah, with all these lifesteal effects not working on runic attacks while for the Steinbjörn chest piece it does, I do wonder if it is intended. And if it is, then I would not be surprised if the healing you get back from the Mist of Helheim is a bit more than it should be because you're not hitting enemies, only building up the frost effect, yet you get a ton of health back. It actually also works with the Hild of Daneslav relic I showed you before, which drops these puddles on the ground that don't do damage, but do build up the poison effect, yet also still give you a ton of health back if you got the Bloodthirsty Retaliation perk active. Something like this would be nerfed in Horizon Forbidden West, but we don't know yet what Santa Monica will do. I will of course keep you posted and likely do a late game build around this as well, so stay tuned to the channel, subscribe to not miss the next God of War Ragnarok video, a like on the video would really help me out, and again, check out that previous video on the Lunda Armor, where to get the Mist of Helheim, and even that amazing Hild of Dane's Leaf relic by by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.